We know some people still doubt, but if it was not real, why would the U.S. government open up an agency specifically to deal with these type of things? This is Cardinal Adam Wimmer of Africa with the Ecumenical Order of Christ. NASA is taking the return Christ series, as you should as well. Yield to me now, and I shall restore peace and prosperity. Refuse, and I will rain fire from the sky. I will continue to shake your land, and I will darken your sun. Article cool headline reads, NASA's Armageddon office aims to protect Earth from doomsday asteroids. I'm going to go over this briefly with you guys. NASA has just launched a new office aimed at protecting the Earth from potential doomsday asteroids. The Planetary Defense Coordination Office will oversee all the space agency efforts to detect and track near-Earth objects and coordinate with other federal agents as well as other nations if and when it becomes necessary. The head of the department, Lindsey Johnson, even has an awesome new title, Planetary Defense Officer. NASA has been stepping up its efforts to protect the planet from a devastating impact, most recently teaming up with the National Nuclear Security Administration to work on a plan to use nuclear weapons to deflect an asteroid. If an agency and other international organizations are able to deflect the celestial body, NASA said the department could work to prepare people on Earth by alerting those in the potential impact zone and assisting emergency response agencies such as FEMA. The formal establishment of the Planetary Defense Coordination Office makes it evident that the agency is committed to perform a leadership role in national and international efforts for detection of these natural impact hazards and to be engaged in planning if there is a need for planetary defense, Johnson said in NASA's news release. Now, the problem with NASA's statement on being able to inform people is there has been numerous asteroids comments or meteors, whatever you want to call them, that have passed by Earth and we did not get a warning. And some of which that weren't even detected until they already passed Earth. And we just had one January 8th. Pastor Paul Bagley spoke on this. You guys should check out this video. I'm not going to watch it right now. I'll put it somewhere that you guys can find it. But this is a serious cause. And it should be taken with precaution. Now, we're approaching January 28th, 2011. Not 2011. January 28th, excuse me. 2011 is the Lord's anniversary. That will be the eighth year. The Lord is not going to continue talking to himself. Either he's going to have obedient subjects or we're going to see a restart in humanity. But besides the fact, there are some worthy people and there's great news for those worthy people because Elysium, the Lord's throne, was seen near the sun. Um, Mr. MBB333 got some pictures from, I want to say, a lady, and he did a little work with him. And it is indeed Elysium, the Lord's throne. So I'm going to briefly read something really quick from the Armageddon Broadcast Network. Broadcasting Network, excuse me. 
As we've seen many times, Hollywood gives you a glimpse of the hidden truth to prepare you for what is coming. And in the 2013 movie, Elysium is one of the best examples. The ancient people were very aware of where the Lord and the lesser gods dwelt. Those who were allowed to see it wrote many stories of the paradise of Elysium, also known as the White Island in the Black Sea. Because of all of its inhabitants were white and it floated in the Black Sea of Space. The movie Elysium showed this utopian paradise above a place where bodies were perfected and life is beautiful. It also showed the dystopian earth below after it had become the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You of Norse, you of course noticed in the movie that almost all of the Elysium's inhabitants were white. The white island with some Asian people and a few exceptional people from other races. While Earth was almost entirely Hispanic with a few black people and white criminals. This is the result of New Kingdom of Pistol One, Determination of Nations. You guys need to decide if you want to be a part of this, sharing in its glory. And that's not all. Elysium is the kingdom of heaven, but there shall be an earthly kingdom as well. If you read uh, Revelations chapter 21, it speaks about New Jerusalem. And it says, New Jerusalem will land and become the capital of earth. And though the Lord's throne is in Elysium, he will live among his subjects on earth in New Jerusalem. Psalms chapter 132 verse 13 For the Lord has chosen Jerusalem He has desired it for his home Well now you know the truth So Some big things happening You guys need to get right with God There's not much time left Join the International Congregation of Lord Rael That is R-A-Y L and get engaged see what you can do if you're in America you need to leave immediately ASAP as soon as possible this is Cardinal Adam Wimma of Africa with the Ecumenical Order of Christ until next time be blessed